Hey everyone, Doug Matuzak, Bow Basement, Frank Wisconsin Bow Evolutions What's behind it? the camera. What's happening everybody? Uh, this is just another project I've been working with for years. Not this particular animal here, but uh, the project. Uh, we'll be showing you uh, the oldest snake in the collection in a few minutes, but uh, this is known as a leucistic Colombian rainbow boa. Just a, a fantastic appearance and there there's also a paradox version to this where it's this white animal with black markings on it I notice I'm zooming right in on the head right now to notice the the one blue eye and the one black eye it's, oh. out, it's outrageous ain't it? hopefully I have the best of both worlds because they believe that the paradoxing is coming from the black eyed version so maybe half of my babies will be paradox <laughs> So, I mean, I just love these animals. They are, uh, they're very well tempered and they're also just uh, very interesting. <laughs> 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 Sorry, everybody, I got some tortoises uh, having some fun in the background and now it's just uh, kind of a very messy sound going on there for a minute. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I know they're trying to make baby turtles, but I don't think there'll be anything but a mess to clean up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that the uh, this is the, the leucistic uh, Colombian rainbow boa project that we're working with here, and uh, I'll be showing you some more projects with this whole thing that I'm working with. Uh, not not just working with this one shot. Uh, I've always loved these animals, and just love that something is doing more than just sitting under a, a hide box. So what do you get here? You get something laying in a water bowl. Yeah, I call them uh, my miniature anacondas without the <laughs> without the fear of anything. You max out at maybe five foot. If you get something a little bit bigger than that, that that's an exceptionally large animal. Live bearers, the whole nine yards. Let me uh, slide this one in. We'll just keep it rolling and show you the oldest broad in the house, as well as the very first animal ever produced here. She's perfect. Yep, that's a. Uh, this is Ruby, the Colombian Rainbow Boa. She was born here on January 13th of 1989. That uh, puts her right now at 24 years and counting. Um, throughout her span, uh, I probably stopped breeding her at maybe age 16 or so. She had already produced over probably close to 200 babies as well as her largest litter ever being 26. <laughs> she still looks great too, man. And uh, I mean, she's she's a little little worse for wear. There's a bump here and a bump there on her, but you know what? Uh, her, what uh, age 24 for a Columbian Rainbow Boy probably put her in her 90s as a human being. So, and again, just just a fantastic animal. She came from a, uh, she, now she's the one that's definitely beat the edge because she came from a whopping litter of six babies. No slugs, no nothing. And uh, as a matter of fact, her dad was here uh, since 1977, and I had him for about 28 years before he passed away. And he most likely was at least three to four years old when we got him, because back in those days, there was no such thing as a captive-born animal. This was something that was caught from the wild. So, Colombian rainbow bows. I've owned a bunch of Brazilians. They just, in my experience at least, they don't have the lifespan that these animals are, so they're just something that you get. That this is obviously a full-blown grown animal, and you know, certainly not nothing overwhelming by any means, and just as, as tame as it gets. I'll show you a few more things uh, we'll, we'll uh, put onto this with uh, some of the other uh, mutations I'm working with with these guys. but. Uh, so this is the oldest broad in the house and the, the noisy guy in the background. I don't know if you guys could pick it up or not. Sounds like a chicken. That's uh, that's the oldest dude in the house. He's uh, a red foot tortoise. Been here since 1969. He's still going strong, guys. No Viagra there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. See ya. This is a, uh, a loose uh, albino Colombian rainbow boa. Uh, I picked up a pair of these. And I'm working with them as well. Just, just amazing animals. Just, I'm, I'm so glad it, it, that I returned back to basically my roots, since the Columbian Rainbow Bow was the very first thing I ever reproduced here. And uh, yeah, I knew that this stuff was out there. I met up with the right person, and we did some major trading uh, last year, and I acquired 
a lot, a lot of pieces and probably have one of the most comprehensive collections of uh, mutations in the world of Colombian rainbow boas. I'm sure there's somebody out there who has one or two more pieces, but uh, I'll get those eventually. This is your good old-fashioned is T-negative albino Colombian rainbow boa. And we got plans for this, and we'll show you why in a minute. This is a, a loose uh, albino Colombian rainbow boa. Uh, I picked up a pair of these, and I'm working with them as well. Just, just amazing animals. Just, I'm, I'm so glad it, it, that I returned back to basically my roots, since the Colombian rainbow boa was the very first thing I ever reproduced here, and uh, yeah. I knew that this stuff was out there. I met up with the right person and we did some major trading uh, last year and I acquired a lot, a lot of pieces and probably have one of the most comprehensive collections of uh, mutations in the world of Colombian rainbow boas. I'm sure there's somebody out there who has one or two more pieces but uh, I'll get those eventually. This is your good old-fashioned is T-negative albino Colombian rainbow boa. And we got plans for this, and we'll show you why in a minute. This is the anatheristic Colombian rainbow boa. I mean, I remember seeing these things years ago in a uh, vivarium issue uh, that was titled Cutting Edge of Herpeticulture. And these things weren't available for many, many a year, but they just have almost this bluish-gray cast to them. And I think they're just fantastic in their own right, but they're just, they can make something very special in the world of uh, Colombian rainbow boa snows. You know, we might, we might get a very, very lavendery looking snow out of this whole situation. So, I can't wait. These guys aren't ready to go yet, but uh, they'll be there eventually. Gonna have a bunch of little uh, baby anacondas laying in water bowls. And as long as, and, and again, these animals are just sweet little critters now they they sometimes don't start off that way <laughs> but uh, you know they, they can be calmed down quite easily so that that's just one of the uh, anatheristics and let's see how this one's looking there's another one I got a sex pair of these things that one looks good too oh yeah got a, a sex pair of these things we'll be mixing and matching both trying to make anatheristics as well as making snows uh, that's why the albinos are here as well as we want to just make albinos as well and I'll show you uh, the patternless version in a minute uh, you know just think of we making a patternless bluish gray anatheristic it just they just blow away unfortunately the, the, the natural Brazilian rainbow bow is one of the most beautiful snakes out there but some of their mutations just kind of fall shy of uh, what the lowly Colombian rainbow boa that always gets, you know, oh, they darken out. Well, yes, the, the normal ones do darken out, but they're still just fantastic animals to work with. And now we have a host of different mutations from this that still bring good money. And we're going to take this and make some uh, fantastic looking designers down the road. This is the patternless Colombian rainbow boa. Uh, they're born. They have no pattern. They almost always they start off with this coloration, which is almost like an adult, normal Colombian rainbow boa. Uh, the beautiful part about it, it's patternless. So what is a patternless albino going to look like? I bet it's going to be extremely reddish orange. Uh, from tip of nose to tip of tail, uh, you know, what's a patternless anatheristic going to look like? What's a patternless leucistic? Uh, this, this, what's a patternless snow going to look like? And again, there's there's a few other uh, mutations out there that are you know, being slowly produced but are extremely exciting. For There's a hypo out there, there's a T plus albino out there. And uh, you know, just every piece added just brings us to another level of what we can do with these animals. And for an animal that you know, a big one might be five feet. You, you saw the 24-year-old ruby uh, earlier in the video, and that, that's that's as big as they get. 
and you know just just a lot of great stuff to do with these this project so very excited about the future with the Colombian rainbow bows this is the patternless Colombian rainbow boa uh, they're born they have no pattern they almost always they start off with this coloration which is almost like an adult normal Colombian rainbow boa the beautiful part about it it's patternless so what is a patternless albino going to look like I bet it's going to be extremely reddish orange uh, from tip of nose to tip of tail uh, you know what's a patternless anatheristic going to look like what's a patternless leucistic uh, this, this what's a patternless snow going to look like and again there's there's a few other uh, mutations out there that are you know, being slowly produced but are extremely exciting for there's a hypo out there, there's a T plus albino out there. And uh, you know, just every piece added just brings us to another level of what we can do with these animals. And for an animal that, you know, a big one might be five feet, you, you saw the 24 year old Ruby uh, earlier in the video, and that, that's that's as big as they get. And you know, just, just a lot of great stuff to do with these this project. So very excited about the future with the Colombian Rainbow Boas.